Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to work with AWS EC2 image builder service which is very very important and very useful services. But before start the lab session we have to understand few points which is what is AWS EC2 image builder services and its use cases. So you can see this is the AWS documentation page and EC2 image builder is fully managed AWS services that make it easier to automate the creation, management and deployment of customized, secure and up to date server images that are pre-installed and pre-configured with the software and the settings to meet specify IT standards right. So Amazon EC2 image builder is off, uh, offered at no cost other than that the cost of underlying AWS resources used to create, store and share the images. So we can use the AWS management console, AWS CLI or APIs to create custom images in your AWS account. So uh, here the, everything is clearly mentioned what is the importance of AWS uh, uh, EC2 image builder services and we can go with the features and rest of the things. So what I'm going to do that I will create a sample image with the customized install software. After creating this image, test the image with the AWS provide test and then distribute the golden image to the other selected AWS regions. So let's do the lab session and we'll see how EC2 image builder service is useful for the cloud app. So what are the pre-requirement of this lab? We, we need only AWS account with administrative access to complete this exercise. Okay, so let's get started. Let me close that one and go back on EC2 management console. As you can see, this is my AWS console and currently I'm in North Virginia region, right? And if I refresh, let's see the current status. Currently there is no EC2 instance available or it is in running condition, right? So the first step is to create IAM role and uh, uh, I am role which is used by EC2 image builder for the authorization, right? So we will make an I am role with two policy. First one is EC2 instance profile for image builder and the second one is Amazon SSM managed instance core, right? So let's create the I am role first. So I'll go with the I am from here. Let me open a new tab. Okay, well, let me create the role first. So here's the role, click on the role go to the create role okay let's start give the name uh, go for the AWS service scroll down I'm making for use case EC2 go to the next one now we have to go with the two different policies okay so here's my notepad file I have mentioned the policy the name that is EC2 instance I can copy and search it here so this is the, I need it EC2 instance profile for image builder let me select that one and let me go with one more which is EC2 Amazon SSS Managed Instance Core, right? Let me copy here and paste it here. Press enter. Yep. Select that one. Go to the next. Now give the role name. So I'm going to give the name Image Builder. Okay. Scroll down. Here are the two policies, right? Instance Core and Image Builder. Scroll down and simply click on the Create Role. So now. Uh, role is already exist okay image builder one go with that one create role so now role is successfully created now move to the next step which is configure SNS services for email notification right so for that one yep you can click on the view role and the role is there image builder one so now configure the SNS so for the email notification I go with the SNS services simple notification services open a new tab now let me create a topic name first so I go with the image image builder you could we go with any name it's total for you I'll go with the standard one scroll down go with the default conditions create topic now go to the subscription part create subscription let me add my email ID so go with the email protocol end point is my email id you can put up the email id as your choice okay scroll down create subscription so now i got the notification i got a small mail in my yeah here it is aws notification right this is my email id let it be confirmed from here okay go back successfully confirm let me check the topic here it is image builder under that topic let me check the subscription it is confirmed okay so now what does it mean I am ready to move for the next step right so now move to the next step which is create build component so go back again here and now search EC2 image builder so if I search here EC2 image builder open a new tab so now here it is 
uh, we have the options image pipeline images save configuration components receipt container receipts and a number of things right so we will start first of all create build components so if i click on the component the pipeline is basically used to customize the base linux windows images and create new uh, images for the deployment the customization is done using build component so the first step of the pipeline is to configure a build component with install uh, which install stdbd pack on the linux base images right so create component now i'll go with the build one image what image you want so i go with the linux operating system otherwise you can go with the windows also and compatible uh, version compatible os version so i'll scroll down i'll do this lab for rel 8 select the rel 8 then the version is say 1.0.0.0 this is my first version right component name uh, name is i go with the demo compo Nine, right description is optional you can do it and in next part is define document document is very very important right so the component use execute bash action to run the command so uh, let me copy the yaml format script which i have in my notepad file let me copy it here it's very easy to be understand and let me paste it here then i will explain so the component use execute execution bash right so action to run the command the command install stdbd package and configure basic web server into the linux base image you can configure many such steps across the build validate and test phases right finally we will scroll down here and we can check it create component okay the component is created in no time yep successfully done so you can check it with the help of view detail so once you go on the view detail you can check it the version build and your script right okay now what's next now move to the next step which is create pipeline so click on the image pipeline right let's create the pipeline which manages the stage from the image creation to deployment okay so click on the create image pipeline now give the pipeline name i said demo pipeline description for testing okay it could be anything scroll down build schedule yep in the build schedule section select manual for this exercise however in the production use you work uh, you would like to schedule for the build but for the exercise we are going to choose manual right now scroll down go to the next option then we have to define receipt right so an image receipt is a documented that document that define the components to be applied to the base image to create and desired configuration for the output image after a receipt has been created it cannot be modified so this is very very important so i'll go with the new because i don't have the existing one right click on the new receipt scroll down i'll go with the ami images otherwise you can go with the docker images also so receipt name i say demo r e c i p e okay and ci sorry pe and version i'll say 1.0.0 this is the first version scroll down and base images what will the base images you can go with the marketplace import base images so i'll go with red hat linux right because that was the earlier rel 8 i have selected scroll down image origin so under the image origin i give the image name image name is rel 864 or 86 so i'll go with the x86 and then working that yeah that is the important part component right so here i have to define the component which is very very important so you can go with our own component so let me go with my own whatever we have just few minutes ago we have created successfully yep demo component where the as the script is mentioned right scroll down and uh, rest of the things we can go with the default purpose okay the size is 10 gb good to go and yep go to the next one so now on the next we have a defined infrastructure configuration so infrastructure configuration is also very important image build, builds image builder launch ec2 instance in your account to customize images and run validation tax test so the following settings specify infrastructure details for the instance that will run in your aws account so click on the create new infrastructure configuration right which is used for the testing purpose scroll down give the name i said demo infra and i am role so here i can select my role one right so this is remember image builder one instance type so i will go with the t2 micro under the free tier account so i will select one more time instance type and search t2 macro from here 
this one now SNS topic because I have the SNS topic for the notification so if you click from here image builder okay under the VPC subnet security group I go with the default one okay uh, let the troubleshooting setting uh, key pair okay so if you have a key pair you can go with the existing key pair otherwise you can create it so I have a RAM key pair in my account so I go with the RAM key pair right otherwise you can click on the create key pair scroll down logs you can store it under the s3 bucket also you have the option right for this you have to create s3 bucket or you can select it from the browse if it's already exist so i'll go with the next okay now the final point is define distribution settings what is the meaning of distribution setting that means uh, distribution settings include specify reason settings for the encryption launch permission account that can launch the output ami the output AMI name and the license configuration, right? So here we have basically defined where we can distribute our images under the which reason. So I'll go with the create new distribution setting, right? So scroll down, uh, demo, DISTR distribution, okay? Reason setting. So reason setting is important. You can see that by default, by default AMI will be distributed under the current reason by default, right? So I'm currently in North Virginia. I can give the name is NVAMI. It could be anything, right? But uh, let me select one more reason. Add reason. I want to build this golden image, uh, North Virginia as well as Mumbai region, AP South one. So I can go with. M U M A M I Mumbai region, right? So, what does it mean? Once my image is successfully built up or created, it will be automatically distributed under both reason, reason one as well as reason two. So, you can go with n number of reason. Scroll down, click to the next, and here's the review. Whatever we have defined, if anything you want to modify, you can modify. It. Otherwise, if everything is good to go, click on the create pipeline, right? So, now pipeline is successfully created. Let it be checked. Uh, yeah, it is created view details view details view details. So click and close it from here Now you can see that my pipeline is here. The name is demo pipeline It's enable the date and time creation more than the yeah, rest of the things So now final time to create to execute that script uh, pipeline So how you can run this pipeline? So click on this one go to the action and click on the run pipeline, right? So now so I have selected my pipeline. I'm in the action and run the pipeline So once I click on the run pipeline image pipeline demo pipeline initiates initiated successfully and we click on the view details so when i click on the view detail here uh, if we check uh, you can see that on the summary it's currently it is in building stage right and if i go with the workflow if i scroll down here you find out building images in running and there are seven number of steps are there look at that one two three four five six seven steps and currently the first process is going to be running which is what was that it is launch build instance then when the first will be successfully created it will go to the second then third then fourth fifth sixth and final that is the seventh one right so now if this time i'll move to the, my ec2 instance let me go with the ec2 instance earlier there is nothing but now if i go to refresh let's see what happened yep one instance in running condition right so if i click on the instance you will find out uh, uh, this is one ec2 instance which is in build instance right so similarly it will create instance for the major steps and all the steps and and the finally it will terminate automatically once everything is uh, going, going to be in okay condition right so it will take time approx 10 to 15 minute see all the sevens are there right so it will take some time seven steps are there so it will be take approx 10 to 15 minute to be complete the, all the process for the reason for that reason i'm going to uh, pause the screen otherwise video will be very long once all step completed i will be back again right guys so just wait for few minutes let it be complete first i'll back again So welcome guys, uh, back guys, see uh, all steps are completed successfully without any error and one step skip which is run sys pre skip we can ignore that one right. So you can see that total is 7 steps and only uh, let me refresh it one more time. See all is completed successfully and, and um, if I go to ec2 dashboard let's see what is the current status earlier there is only one let it be refresh. And now two instances are there so if i click on the two instance the instance is test instance for demo receipt and build instance for demo receipt and both are in terminal condition right the t2 macro whatever the macro i have selected over there and uh, let me check the notification so if i go on my email go back here uh, yeah here it is two notification and first one is ec2 image builder 
create infrastructure configuration where written and second one every steps are there right so whatever the ami is going to be build type and and create and test configuration everything i got the notification the size ebs volume type everything is there right so i'm getting the notification also and if we talk about the logs so what we will do log is by default available under the cloud watch right so we can click on the cloud watch cloud watch service let me open a new tab here so all logs will be stored under the aws cloud watch so just wait under the log group loading cloud watch logs yep aws image builder demo receipt and if i open that one scroll down and 1.0.1 slash one everything is there from starting to end position so if i go to the starting point see the starting point is apache transition summary install the packages that means my package is going to be successfully installed whatever i have mentioned over there and similarly at the last we will see that uh, complete test workflow and all workflow runs successfully into the AMR image ID, right? It's available, distributing and available. So logs are stored in the AWS CloudWatch. So the pipeline execution is successfully completed. So if I go back on the images and under the image, we can see that demo receipt is there. Go to the version. Under the version, this is the version ID. And here we will see that, yep, output resources are there. Uh, output is will be available in US East hyphen one as well as AP South hyphen one, right? So now let me check where is my Amazon image ID. So the image is created and it is ready for use, and we can go to the currently I'm in North Virginia. So if I go to the EC2 dashboard and under the scroll down here under the AMI, I got new AMI which is NVAMI, right? Similarly, if we go to the Mumbai region definitely let me check from mumbai also so it will be available under the mumbai also right so yep here i am mumbai and you can find out mumbai ami id right so if i launch one ec2 instance using this image i will get a linux virtual machine with apache web server already installed on it right so let's try to quickly launch this instance from here so i can select launch instance from ami remember currently i'm in mumbai or reason okay so let me launch for the confirmation purpose for the i want to assure it that everything is working perfectly scroll down key pair you have a key pair you can go with that one otherwise you can go with the existing one so i have the demo key pair i can scroll down and just simply create a launch instance so now i have successfully launched one ec2 instance using my custom golden ami image right so view all instance let me open my uh, download folder let me open my git bash utility from here make it large for you okay so let me refresh okay just wait for a couple of seconds let it be on first then we will connect and check it whether the HTTP package is available or not so just wait Yeah, it is in running condition. Select, connect, and copy that path. So SSH client, copy the entire path, and paste it here. And remember, the username is ec2-user, not root user, right? ec2-user. Press enter, and the file should be there, that is demo.pam. Are you sure to continue? Yes, I am. Yep sudo su hyphen and i can check rpm query stdpd package install and let it be check the status system ctl status stdpd sorry stdpd yep active and running condition right so the same manner we can check under the different reason so guys this is how we can use the aws ec2 image builder service to build our own custom images under the aws platform and share this golden ami images across the different regions right Finally, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then, keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please reach out to the, my social media links, which is mentioned in the description. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.